Manhattan is a gorgeous city with many great sights to see around every corner. Rarity was invited to Manhattan's Fashion Week to present her designs at the biggest fashion contest of the year. The ponies were excited to be in the big city. It was so beautiful. They couldn't wait to go sightseeing. As they walked the streets, Rarity explained that in Manhattan, every pony does nice things for one another. The city was so amazing that they almost forgot about the contest. If they didn't hurry, Rarity would be late. Suddenly, a kind cab driver arrived and offered to take Rarity to the contest right away. Oh, it's no use! Rarity made it to the Fashion Week runway plaza just in time for the contest check-in, but she forgot the dresses. Luckily, Rarity's friends remembered the dresses and a friendly bellhop delivered them to her. Got them right here, ma'am. Your friends told me you need these in a hurry, so I offered to race them over myself. You're a lifesaver! Backstage, Rarity met some of the contestants in the fashion contest. Prim Hemline, the host of the event, was upset that Rarity barely made it on time. A pony named Suri helped Rarity load her outfits into the dressing room. Suri was also competing in the contest. She liked Rarity's dresses so much that she asked to borrow a swatch of her fabric, and Rarity said yes. At rehearsal the next day, Rarity discovered that Suri had done more than just borrow some fabric. Suri had stolen Rarity's designs and showed them to the judges first, pretending they were hers. Suri was dishonest and cruel. She made her assistant, Miss Pamel, work all night without even saying thank you. At the hotel, Rarity told her friends that her designs had been copied. She was very upset. The ponies comforted Rarity by offering to help make new dresses for the contest. Still determined to win the contest, Rarity had the brilliant idea to use a hotel theme for her new designs. Even though they would miss out on sightseeing, Rarity's friends helped her create the new fashion lineup. Oh no! We're short on time. Would you help me make the most fashionable dress? I'm thinking Hotel Chic. You're a lifesaver! After hours of sewing, the ponies finally finished Rarity's dresses, but they were so tired that they fell fast asleep. Rarity took the dresses and hurried to the contest. She was so distracted that she left her friends behind. The fashion contest had begun, and soon, Prim Hemline announced that it was Rarity's turn. The crowd was very excited to see Rarity's new hotel chic dresses. However, Rarity realized that she left her friends behind at the hotel. 
Rarity zipped off the stage and left in the middle of the contest to go find her friends. While Rarity searched for her friends, she thought about the way she treated them earlier. Rarity regretted not thanking them and leaving them behind. Rarity found her friends at the hotel. They all looked sad because Suri told them that Rarity lost the contest. Rarity apologized to her friends for leaving them behind and promised to make it up to them. Twilight and the others forgave Rarity and understood how much the contest meant to her. Every pony was surprised when Miss Pamel arrived with the first place trophy. It belonged to Rarity. Miss Pamel explained that Suri lied about Rarity losing the contest and tried to take the trophy for herself. Miss Pamel also brought Rarity beautiful rainbow colored thread as a gift. She thanked Rarity for her generosity. The ponies learned that gratitude and kindness are part of the magic of friendship. Rarity celebrated the power of generosity with her best friends in the streets of Manhattan. The End Trophy Gift Dress Fabric Taxi Runway City Contestants Bellhop Red Trophy Dress up your favorite ponies, then take a picture to share with your friends. Dress up your favorite ponies, then take a picture to share with your friends.